G'day you beautiful people, welcome back to Paragon. Uh, before I move on into any other videos in Paragon in regards to the characters that people really want to play and how to play them, I thought we'd take a moment to make ourselves aware of how useful the support is. Supports are actually one of my favourite uh, characters used. My, my second favourite character in the game is actually Narbash, he is a support caster. Okay, there's a few different types of casters, uh, supports in the game rather. You have your uh, supports like Decker, who revolve around uh, speeding up teammates, slowing down enemies, stunning them and capturing them. You have uh, supports like Muriel that revolve around uh, getting into fights with the global, global ultimate uh, and uh, providing shields and speed boosts for their team. You then have some sort of kind of blurry uh, support characters, kind of like the Fae or Gadget. Uh, they can play support, uh, and then you have the more sort of tanky support players, like like Richter, Narbash, and um, and uh, Steel, as you see here. Now I'm playing Steel. Obviously, uh, I have not played Steel in a long, 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 long time. Uh, we're on Smurf accounts at the moment. Freak and I are playing with Freak, who's playing as Grim. Um, I'm actually doing really well. Don't pay too much attention to my build. Uh, it's basically I achieve the end goal that I normally get. Not quite as well as I normally would, but um, it's a bit here and there. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna get actually get myself killed trying to put wards down for my carry because uh, I want to keep him alive as long as possible okay the vision is going to help the two of us to actually stay alive but I die on my way back but at least then I know that he's got a good bit of vision uh, so one thing that your support should always have for the whole match is wards um, generally your entire team should have wards but I actually allow my carry to not uh, take wards so he can get that little bit extra out of a, uh, a different card instead of a ward and he stays with me most of the game anyway so right here we notice that uh, two of the enemies go into the jungle to take on our Kai so I come in and try to put as much distance between them and my carry uh, I back off for a moment because I thought we we're actually going to leave they all get pulled so I actually charge back in and make sure that I'm in front again um, because even when all your abilities are on cooldown just standing between the person trying to kill you or your carry or anyone that's on your team and the enemy that's doing the most damage is going to keep them alive longer and allow them to focus people down okay so we're getting i get a kill here which is another point that i would like to make when you are playing a support you're probably not going to get a lot of kills and that is okay all right we have kda in the game for a reason uh, if the carry on your team goes 10-2-0, uh, he has a 5-1 to 1 KD. If you go 0-2-10 with 10 assists, you are a 5-1 and 1 as well. Okay, it's the same thing. It all counts the same way, all right? I know you want the kills, and so do I, but um, sometimes you just got to give them up. So what I try to do in general when playing Steel is to just keep people uh, knocked up and uh, immobile for as long as humanly possible uh, so that a lot of other people can do damage. I get up in people's faces and I uh, try to take their attention away from the more squishy, higher damage dealers on my team. And that in general is what you are supposed to be doing as a support. Uh, another thing to note is uh, even though you don't have much damage, don't um, don't stop attacking. If you're playing Decker or Muriel and um, you have very, very low damage, keep attacking the whole time. Put yourself in the right spots, use your abilities properly, uh, keep the enemies under control so that someone else can do a lot of damage, but keep hitting them because every little bit of damage that you do adds up. Okay, so I will still get in people's faces as steel and just hold down the R2 button and just keep attacking the whole time to as much as humanly possible. It does result in me stealing a couple of kills from my carry from time to time, but uh, what are you going to do about it? Um, 
But what you are going to do most of the time is actually feed them kills. If you know that when you attack the next time, uh, you are going to take the kill, and you know that your carry actually has a shot, don't don't hit them. Allow your carry to get the shot. Allow him to get stronger, because the stronger that he gets, uh, you you're always going to be able to get between people. Say playing a steel, like I'm always going to be able to do what I'm doing right now. But the more damage that my carry does means that they get close, they get don't get as close to their tower before they die. And right here, I actually have a bit of an iffy moment. You would have seen that uh, when Grox went to pull, I actually backed off because uh, it had been a while since I played a support. What I should have done was moved forward and got myself between Grox and my carry to ensure that uh, I could body block and he did not die. But he did die, uh, and that's on me. Uh, it's always on the support um, even if they are out of position uh, it's your job to get yourself into a better position to ensure that you can do something about it okay so we're on uh, mid lane here uh, 35 minutes into the game Grim lands a perfect textbook shield as Grux tries to pull him and then he just kind of disappears back under the tower, I don't know what the fuck happened there. Um, so we're all going to back, um, and we're going to push a little bit more, get a couple more kills, we're going to take the inhib, and uh, it's going to be GG. Uh, so with that said, let's just quickly go over some things to do with support, okay? So one thing I didn't mention firstly, being that you are a support and you're not really doing too much damage, uh, when rotations are necessary to defend, it is more uh, beneficial for you to actually rotate to defend. Don't leave your carry and rotate mid because middle's going to attack a tower. You are not um, you are not needed in that scenario. The jungler should rotate to help him. What you should be doing is rotating to defend people, rotating to team fights, uh, saying "Be careful, left lane on my way." Um, if you need to leave your carry there and just leave them there uh, if you do need help get them to come with you and pull them into a team fight okay keep them safe uh, try to keep as many people safe as you can try to get yourself between the enemy carry or the highest damage dealer on their team who has, whoever has the most CP or whoever seems to be killing more people during the match try to keep them busy the whole time so your teammates can burst him down okay uh, and just remember that uh, it's not your job to get kills, but you do want to attack as much as humanly possible. Make sure you use your abilities wisely to keep all of the enemy teammates that are dangerous under control, uh, whether that be slowing them, stunning them, cap uh, keeping them contained in uh, Decker's ultimate. Okay, um, Proper usage of ultimates and abilities are paramount. If you know that there is a Gideon, for example, in a team fight on the enemy team, at some point he's probably going to ult. Uh, as Steel, you have two options to knock him down. You have your, uh, you have your dash and you have your ultimate. Okay, it's no use you running in and ulting straight away on the enemies if you know you're going to be the only one that can get him out of his ult okay so hold on to it wait until he ults and then ult down on top of him and whoever else might be nearby uh same with um a lot of heroes like uh decker for example keep a stasis bomb handy so that you can uh, knock him down i know you do want to actually use them all the time uh, but sometimes it's actually beneficial to hold on to things Okay, so one other thing we should talk about is the way that you build them. In general, you want to build yourself a fair amount of health, resistances, cooldown reduction, mana, and then maybe things like health regen, mana regen, so you can stay in lanes longer without having to back. Um, just pretty much build that way. Any any free uh, stats you can get while doing this is great. A little bit of damage is going to be fine. Early game damage cards can really help as well. Uh, but just remember that you're not um, you're not there to dish out the damage. You're there to keep your abilities going to allow people to dish out the damage. So keep your cooldowns low. Go get blue buff when you can. Uh, don't leave uh, when it's not not a good time to go and get blue buff. 
but try to try to get a hold of blue buff as much as you can maybe get your carry to come with you uh, if it's in the later stages of the game get it clear quickly and then go where needed okay um, but supports are actually a lot of fun and they're quite useful um, in team fights most really high level players will will tell you that uh, in a lot of team fights the supports are the ones that end up pulling a team through to a victory a really good support can actually make the difference uh, and um, getting used to playing as a support can actually make you better as a different character because knowing what a support character is capable of will allow you as a ranger or a fighter to play around them uh, in the future so give them a go keep all these things in mind uh, and you just might be surprised as to how much fun you might have. Narbash is a support, and he's actually one of my favorite characters in the game. I absolutely adore playing him. He's wonderful. And I love um, and am falling back in love with playing Steel. Um, but as I said, give them a go. Do not leave them sidelined. You will enjoy yourself thoroughly. Uh, if you get out there, remember those few uh, very simple tips. That I've given you, you will see yourself do quite well and you'll aid your team greatly. Uh, but I hope you found this helpful. I hope you've enjoyed it in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please drop me a like and a comment down below. Maybe let me know what your favorite support is. Um, and consider subscribing for more Paragon content. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love your face and I will catch you in the next one. Peace. Regrets every large decision ever made. I already owned him.